The Role of NATO's Cyber Range in Enhancing Cyber Defense Against Russian Threats In recent years, the threat of cyber attacks has become more prominent, and NATO has been at the forefront of addressing these threats. With the increasing use of technology in everyday life, it has become clear that cyber defense is a priority for national security. One way that NATO is working to enhance cyber defense is through the use of cyber ranges. A cyber range is a virtual platform that allows for the simulation of cyber attacks in a controlled environment. This allows for the testing and improvement of cyber defenses before they are implemented in a real-world situation. The role of NATO's cyber range is particularly important in the face of Russian cyber threats. Russia has been identified as one of the main sources of cyber attacks against NATO and its member states. These attacks can come in many forms, including the stealing of sensitive information, the disruption of critical infrastructure, and the spreading of disinformation. With Russia's demonstrated skill in cyber warfare, it is essential that NATO is equipped with the necessary tools to defend against these threats. The Cyber Range provides a valuable tool for developing and testing new cyber defenses in response to evolving threats. The Cyber Range is also a valuable training tool for NATO personnel. Cyber attacks can come from a variety of sources, and it is essential that NATO personnel are trained to respond appropriately. The Cyber Range provides a platform for realistic training scenarios, allowing personnel to prepare for real-world cyber attacks. Moreover, the Cyber Range promotes collaboration among NATO member states. Cyber attacks against one member state can have significant impacts on other member states. By working together, NATO member states can share information and resources to improve overall cyber defense. In addition to the use of cyber ranges, NATO is also working to improve its overall cyber defense capabilities. This includes improving cyber hygiene and increasing the capacity for threat intelligence and information sharing. Additionally, NATO has established a Cyber Defense Center of Excellence to promote standardized training and best practices for cyber defense. However, there are still challenges to be addressed in enhancing cyber defense against Russian threats. One significant challenge is the lack of a clear understanding of what constitutes a cyber attack. This can make it difficult to determine an appropriate response to an attack and can lead to confusion and uncertainty. Another challenge is the complexity of cyber attacks. Cyber attacks can involve multiple actors and can be difficult to attribute accurately. This can make it difficult to determine who is responsible for an attack and can complicate the process of responding appropriately. Ultimately, enhancing cyber defense against Russian threats requires a multifaceted approach that includes the use of cyber ranges, improved cyber hygiene, and increased cooperation among NATO member states. With these tools and strategies in place, NATO can improve its ability to deter and respond to cyber attacks, promoting overall national security.